Hi there, just want to do a quick review of the uh, new Canon Pixima MG5350. It's a sort of upper mid range printer. Um, one of the features it has individual ink tanks, so if you do a fair bit of printing, you don't have to buy the all in one tanks, that can get pretty expensive after a while. Um, also has wireless printing, it uh, has this Pixima Cloud Link. But one of the main features that uh, I was attracted to was the Apple Air Print, and uh, that's really what I'm going to show you here of how simple it is. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad, how easy it is just to uh, print and scan back and forward. Anyway, let's have a look. All right, so here's the printer set up, ready to go. Setup was um, pretty simple; took about five minutes. Um, I've got this set up wirelessly, so it, there's no USB cables to anything. Um, it's got the traditional piano black finish. Uh, it's one of these cool features which I'll show you later is when you go to print you, you don't have to have the uh, front door open and uh, it's just one of the cool tricky things Canon are doing on their printers. So it's got the, um, I'll show you, we'll do a turn it on and it'll come to life. We'll pop this screen up like Canon do now and you've got the, uh, you know, the control wheel features to, to go through the, the options that's on the printer. Um, you've got your wireless lights, uh, your traditional printers home, back, copies two and four. But anyway, let's um, let's see how it works. All right, so let's see how it works with uh, printing from an iOS device to this printer. Simple setup, like I said. It um, took five minutes out of the box, and as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, it all works good. So we've got an email, a simple little email ready to go. So down here in the, the share button, one of the options is print. We hit print. We've got some options here, which is um, printers are automatically recognized. One copy. You can double side if it's uh, more than one page. And the latest uh, update actually uh, lets you choose page ranges as well. So anyway, we'll hit the print button. And if you watch how fast it'll come up, it says it's, it's communicating with the device. We'll stand back. One of the cool features is the little pop down door. Here we go. Don't even have to touch it. And we're off and running. It says printing the data. Simple as that. There's our, there's our email. Ready to go. Simple little one. So let's have a quick look at maybe doing something else. So let's see how we can print from uh, one of the other applications. This is Pages, available from Apple. And if we just choose the Tools button, and one of the options is Share and Print. So we'll click on that. Tap Print option. And it's going to take a few seconds to look into the network. And while it's doing that, here we go. So we've got the uh, printer recognized. We can choose a range, number of copies, and double-sided, like I said. So what we'll do is we'll just choose one one page to print, because we don't want to waste all this on a test. And um, go back. So we're printing one page, ready to go. So like I said, we'll hit print. It tells us it's communicating. This one might take a little bit longer, obviously, because the page has got um, a little bit more data in it. So. Um, it says printing the data. Wi-Fi button's lighting up, and it's transferring. Uh, transferring. Here we go. So there we go. Here's our printout. Let's just go back. That's our printout. That's what we've got. And you can see that um, we've just printed out exactly what we had on screen. It's as simple as it really couldn't be any easier. Um, it's uh, very, very happy with it, and it does the same from an iPad, iPhone. It's um, it's as good as. One of the uh, features of this multifunction is its ability to scan, and you can scan traditionally back into a computer like most multifunctions. But as it's an air print enabled device, um, it, it very easily will scan back into an iPhone or an iPad if you would like. Now, I recommend uh, do what I did and download the Canon app, which is called Canon 
by EPP. It's available free in the App Store. And when you download it, it recognizes uh, through your Wi Fi network uh, the, the printer ready to go. So let's choose Scan Settings. And you can see there straight away it's got the Canon registered there. I've selected Document Type to be a document. We'll do Color and it's A4 size. I've put in the printout we just used and uh, we'll hit the scan button. It's very quiet so I won't talk while it's doing it so you can not hear how quiet it is. So here we go. Right, so there you go, it's scanned. I apologise if I put it in upside down, but um, if I wanted to scan another page, I could uh, just open it up, swap it around, and when you've when you've finished and you want to manipulate your uh, image, you just choose exit, up up it'll come, and if I wanted to uh, forward it on, I can do, I can copy it to the photo album as a JPEG, I can email what I've scanned, I can email it as a PDF or I can open it in other apps. So it really was that simple. Be out of the box, five, ten minutes set it up, set it up on your network, and then everything was just works as they say. So I can't recommend it highly enough. Cheers.